Good morning, y'all. Just in the streets of Hollywood today. Probably hella windy right now. But, just wanted to talk about a few things. So recently, you know, I've been pretty busy. I've actually been really stalling on my pro product for you guys. Like, uh, the one about personal finance and stuff. And, it really kind of sucks because a lot of time I just feel anxiety. I'm doing like so many different things and whatnot. And recently my friend turned me on to something called a passion planner. But I bought a different planner off Amazon and stuff. But I think right now where I'm lacking is, well, one time, right? But since you can't change the amount of like hours you got in a day, you have to optimize what you do have. And so what I decided to do is actually get a planner. It's not your typical planner. It's a uh, goal-oriented like planner and stuff. And I'll give you my review later to see how I actually like, like the thing. Yeah, I think it's a really good thing for me to start maybe organizing my time a little better. Even though there's all these digital like calendars and stuff, there's nothing like writing it down and making it fun. A lot of time where I fail is like, what I realized was the vacations and stuff, fucking shut the fuck up. Where I fail a lot of time is like, I don't have proper planning or proper organization. And even though I would say I'm pretty productive in general by waking up early and stuff, uh, there's still room to better optimize my time and take care of all that sort of stuff. What I realized after coming back home it's a lot of the minor details that really matter. After reading, uh, watching a few Navy SEAL podcasts, what they all have in common is that all minor details, like making your bed, cleaning up, that stuff is already taken care of. It allows them to focus on these bigger tasks. So some other cool things that are coming with the planner, um, I think inside there's like a gratitude journal and stuff like that. It'll just like keep everything in place for me, but I'm actually, this sounds really dorky, but I'm really excited to get it in the mail today. And as soon as I get it, I'll show you guys what I think about it, all that sort of mud bullshit too. But what I'm hoping is that I can plan out my whole month and stuff and get this product rolling, you know? Um, over the last, I would say, month, I've actually been producing almost daily content. Maybe I missed one or two days. But for the most part, I've been doing really consistent, being really consistent. And Something about that momentum, which is doing really well. My diet, kind of near the end of my Boston trip, kind of took a huge hit. But I think it really helps to see your goals long term too, to see what you're actually hustling for. And by right for me, I really just like writing everything out and going like that. Not to say I'm not going to use Google Calendar anymore. I think what I'm going to do is write all my long term goals inside this planner and to strategize, and then. From week to week, I'm just gonna schedule everything out in my whole calendar. And stuff. But I'm pretty excited to see what I can accomplish for the rest of the year. Uh, so far, 2016 has shit in the bed for me. Like everything from my grandma to my other grandma. But I've also had some really good moments. Like through that, all that um, amount of bullshit, um, it's really helped me or forced me to just man up and step up to the plate and stuff. And so. Um, I think that's some of the good. Uh, it's probably going to be a rough rest of the year, but I'm actually curious to see what my Chinese Zodiac says and stuff like that. But like I said, there's like a lot of opportunity with every situation, even if you're going through a hard time to test your mental toughness and shit. But anyways, gotta get to work. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Once you finish, you can pay off your loans in like two, three years, no problem. <laughs> Um, you can save a bunch of money, buy my nice clothes, nice shoes, nice purses. Well, when you get out and you actually do get a job, I mean, yes, you're very excited, but 